This rank challenge is for day seven and it's called arrays. Our task is very simple. It says, given an array, print the elements of the array in reverse order separated by spaces. So if we have an array with the elements one, two, three, four, we need to print four, three, two, one. They have another example here. If the array has one, four, three, two, then we need to print two, three, four, one. This is as simple as reading the elements from the array from the end to the beginning. But there is a bit more to this challenge because this time around, we don't only need to write our own function, we also need to go to their main section and call our own function. So notice here, I've added this comment. I said, create this function. In my case, I'm calling my function print array in reverse. And then I said, see my addition to their code. So when you scroll down inside their main section and this code is already provided, you will see here, they are creating a vector of integers called R, A double R of size N. And then here they are populating the array. And then you need to go underneath their for loop right before they return zero statements and add a call to your own function. So here I'm calling my function print array in reverse. And for the arguments, I'm passing the vector that they're creating right here. So this is the R vector, which I am passing as an argument to my function. To avoid copying, I am passing my vector by reference. So I have vector of ints, which is the type of vector that I'm passing. But then I have this ampersand symbol just after the data type so that the vector can get passed by reference. So once I receive my vector here, I have this for loop and I'm starting i at the last index of my array and I'm going all the way to zero. So here I have greater than or equal to zero. And then at every iteration, I decrease the value of i. So what I have to do next is simply print the value of the elements at the current index that I'm at. Don't forget the space here so that your outputs will be valid. Now I'm running this code. That should be it for the whole logic. We've passed the sample test case. So I'm submitting this code now to test against the nine cases and we've passed all of them. So that's it for day seven called arrays. Again, don't forget to write your own function and call your own function inside your main function, pass your array as an argument. And then here, use the ampersand to receive your array by reference. So if you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out the GitHub link in my description and I'll catch you next time.